So patients with uh, BLL, you know, uh, there's a subset of BLL, obviously, which are called pH positive ALL, which is a well-described subset. And uh, about 10 years ago, or slightly more than 10 years ago, an entity was described called pH-like ALL, where the majority, the main subgroup of disease, uh, genomic sub aberration was CRF2 rearrangement. And one of the defining criteria for CRF2 rearrangement or pH-like ALL was that the BCR able or Philadelphia chromosome has to be negative. But we have seen occasionally in our patients that they could sometimes, rarely, the two can co-occur. So the patient could have a CRF2 rearrangement as well as Philadelphia chromosome present, actually in the same cell at the same time. We had reported a case series of four patients uh, back in 2016, and more recently we had seen four or five additional patients, again, having co-occurrence of these arrangements. So that's a part of a poster presentation at this meeting. What we have found is that when we treat these patients with Philadelphia chromosome-specific therapy, for example, using drugs such as desatinib or ponatinib, along with either chemotherapy or blenatumumab, we are able to get rid of the Philadelphia chromosome positive clone, but the CRF2 clone uh, persist and likely leads to relapse of the disease. So overall, this appears to be a somewhat high-risk disease in terms of the management for patients with B cell ALL. And I think it's important to emphasize that though it is a rare entity, it can happen in some patients, and therefore the management should, may, may, you want to tailor your management and probably consider a transplant in early lines of therapy for these patients.